Hi YouTube, I want to talk about one of my favorite sunscreens from this summer. I purchased this from Care to Beauty. I believe it was around $18 when I purchased it. And it is the Sesaderm Silk Sunscreen, Silk Touch Sunscreen. And I have been absolutely loving this. And there's a few reasons why you should use this. This has a broad spectrum UVA and UVB coverage and it's tinted. So it's great for people of color, especially darker skinned women who find tinted sunscreen to be sort of a hit or miss. And in my experience, hit tinted sunscreens um, typically are mineral based sunscreens. They don't have the, like the organic filters that provide the very broad sun protection. I love organic filters. I like organic filters over the mineral filters. And I think that they can be both safe, effective, more effective in fact, and they can also give you, um, the cosmetic elegance you're looking for and the photo stability that you're looking for. This product is check out the color on this it's such a deep chocolate color that's like a perfect match for me i'm wearing it right now and then i put some blush on my face but i'm gonna put some on my forehead do you see how this is melting into my skin i i like can't even see my where i'm putting the sunscreen and where my skin begins because it's such a great match for my skin that i like can't believe it hasn't existed before. Now, if you are a person with a lighter skin tone than me, I have a Fitzpatrick of four. And if you have a lighter skin tone than me, I think you might struggle with finding um, this to be a good color match. Now, this blends in really well. Unfortunately, this has fragrance. If you are allergic to fragrance, I don't recommend using this. I love the florally smell. I think you have to use quite a bit of this to get the impact. I use four pumps, so one for my forehead, one for my cheek, one for my mouth area. I think this is such a beautiful formulation, gives a velvety finish. It also has DNA repairing enzymes in here. So these things will protect your skin by neutralizing free radical formation that you get when you're exposed to the sun and it heals existing sun damage. So it's really a win-win-win. I forgave the part that this has fragrance in it um, because it's such a great formulation. I will definitely repurchase this. This works really well if you're trying to be, you know, you don't want to use makeup, but you want a little bit of coverage. Um, this is great for that. This is also great if you're looking for a sunscreen that gives you a somewhat of a matte finish. I, when I use this sunscreen, use this completely alone. That means I don't pair this with any other sunscreens. Now, if you've been following my YouTube channel, you know that I like to layer my sunscreen. I like to use different sunscreen sunscreens together. When I use this, I only use this and I only reapply this throughout the day if I need to. I think this is a great sunscreen if you're looking for an all-in-one product that is it's tinted, has broad spectrum. This will give you the tint that you need to protect your skin, skin from uh, visible light, particularly blue light that can further um, make your hyperpigmentation much more persistent and just very like frustrating to deal with. This is a great product for that reason. I think you're also going to love the fact that this is one of the most budget-friendly sunscreens that's out there. I love the pump. You can really um, kind of tell how many, quantify your applications to be consistent. I know I have to use four pumps of this to get a full coverage for my face. I don't use this for my neck. I use other products for my neck. Um, this is one of the most affordable products that are out there. I know that when I'm nearing the end of this product, I can cut this tube and get the remainder, um, you know, into my fingers and onto my skin. I don't have to worry about, you know, the... I'm going to show you an example of what I don't like. This is the Neostrata sunscreen that I was raving about. This gives you a very, very matte finish, but it can be kind of over drying. This also has very broad spectrum sunscreen filters, but this is a mineral sunscreen. The cast on this is negligible but when I tan more in the summer times this can kind of look kind of weird on me you can't quantify this because there's no pump it's just a bottle like this I'm nearly done so if you look at the color of this and compare it to 
Do you see this? Do you see how light this is? Do you see how dark this is? This blends in. And this kind of... Do you see where I applied it? Can you see where I applied the other one? Maybe I should put some more. I'm just very stingy with this because it's such a good product. I don't want to waste it. But this color is a better match for me, my skin tone. If you have deeper skin, if you have, if it's Patrick of five, um, six, this is not going to leave a white cast on you. This will still work because this is not a very pigmented formulation, but it's a formulation that works for a a particular range of people and I'm one of them and so I'm very very happy about this. I think if you have sensitive skin there is nothing to worry about because it's such a great formulation that I can um, ignore the part that it has fragrance. Again I'm not saying that you should do that too but if you are not allergic to fragrance, I think you should definitely consider this. And that is all for my video today. If you like this video, please like it and leave your comments below and subscribe to my channel. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.